We're here for a very special delivery. Our good friend bought yet another hypercar, one of only 20 in the world. Oh, we're back at Lamborghini Newport Beach with my friend Damon Fryer, who's very excited because he did something in the window that caught his eye. We were talking about this before, the Senna GTR, when homologated to be a road legal car, which you can do, because they built these cars to be just a race car. This one came here, went back to the UK, got all the turn signals and everything it needed, the front lift and all that, so it could be driven on the road. It's actually for sale. So if you don't remember, Nick Jones. Nick Jones. Hey, what's up? This car is road legal at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you send it back, it has to get what? Turn signals. All the boring stuff. So yeah, you're getting turn signals, a horn. A horn. A lifting system, client emission system, exhaust. Oh. So also change. changing the size of the wheels to accommodate road tires, traction control system, keys. Keys there's are no important. keys before. No, there was no, it was a race car. This is the part I'm most proud of. Oh, wow. Oh, those are, look at this. The headset? Yeah, we did. Like so you can did. choose to be painted or? Whatever you want. Well, you probably wear these anyhow. You did this off-roading stuff, right? I actually wear them stuff, in my right? office, yeah. So you do a lot of the specking in these cars, like yep. these special one-off cars. What about this car? What You had your hand in all this? I did, yeah. So this one we did, livery that you see is all paint. It's not vinyl, whereas a lot of clients on race cars did vinyl because they're like, well, I just change it out, peel it off, whatever. But yeah. with this one, uh, we did all paints instead. All satin carbon. Some guys went with glossy carbon. We did satin carbon I like on satin. this one. I like the satin. This is a beautiful car. It's also so aggressive right from the factory. And you can't appreciate it until you're standing here. Look how much of my fingers go in under. Like arrow of this car is seriously like nothing you've ever seen. You have to come and see one in person. Everything is like times a hundred. Every little piece, all the little details of like, look at the details of like how the mirror sits and how this has a little channel and how then it comes down here. You can see the tire through here and through here. It's bananas. How do you put fuel in this? If it's a race, if no, it's a race work, car, how do you put fuel in. with this? No. No. So now it's designed so you can put fuel at a pump? Yeah. Because it had to change that. It's a road car. That's amazing. So this car, hands down, one of my favorite cars. What is the price tag? I know as the race car, this was about 1718 USD. USP. Depending on how you spec it. This one was a higher spec car because of the paint, paint livery and stuff on special. it. Very uh, special. This one spec'd out just a little over a million eight as a race car. As a race car. And then also this car was optioned with the full track kit as well. So this comes with two huge flight cases with all your tools. No. To support the car and a track event. So That's dive cool. bottles, cool. trolleys, all your refueling systems, scales, everything. Wow. What would be market value now? Because we yeah. know everything's gone up. You're probably looking at somewhere in like the 2.6 range. That's not bad. I'm six foot, 240 pound dude. Look at the sheer girth and width of this car. Everything has like a wing on a wing. A little bit of a lip for the bodywork, and then you have a carbon That's lip here and then you have all the aero on the inside of this and then you have a wing with a wing on top of this wing and then you have diffuser with like a lip. It's overwhelming. Exterior montage first, David. sponsored by Cove, the stereo Bluetooth speaker. We've been working with this product for literally years and they always sell out. This will be no exception. It's the holidays. What makes a better gift than the sound of music? Okay, what makes this really cool is it's one big speaker with an amazing 360 sound, but separate them, you now have stereo sound. They have a 10 meter range connected to any Bluetooth device. Your watch, your phone, your computer, whatever you want to use to listen to music, you're good to go. It also has a built-in microphone. You can make phone calls with it. How sick is that? At the very end here, there's a subwoofer, and there's a little light that bounces with the beat. Now this holiday season, give the gift of beautiful sound. There's four limited edition colorways. Last time they sold out, they have restocked them. For now, I better act quick. There's sandstone, terracotta, and concrete. Now this bad boy is water resistant, which means don't put it inside the hot tub, but put it next to the hot tub. Or a bubble bath, if that's what you're into. So they've restocked these four limited colors, but there's only a few left, so hurry right now. Click the link in the description and save 68%. A massive discount for an epic product. Don't wait, don't live in regret. I already grabbed most of them, so you better hurry, because I'm buying them. Time to have a look at the inside. Is there a cup holder inside the this steering car? Is there? No, no, no cup holder. That's your passenger. As we know, doors go up. But look at the steering wheel for a second. I'm getting inside, boys. Are the seats like Damon size seats or are they skinny seats? Well, they're. I haven't gained much weight. <laughs> they're all right. These are the big boy seats. They are? Yes. Paul? Mm -hmm. 
and pull. Pull. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. This is a work of art. This is the closest you're ever gonna get to being my size, having some level of a F1 experience with a steering wheel or anything because I don't fit in F1 cars. I tried once, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't. This is the most satisfying thing when it comes to a shift. That's cool. I'd have to sell the Career GT, the Mercia Lago, and the SVJ to get this. Would it be worth it? Comment below. Yeah, we need the audience to help us out on this Comment one. below. It's cool. This is really cool. This is bad man. Interior montage. be talking about all the cars we're always getting. We're here for a very special delivery. Our good friend, Hyper NFT, mystery man himself, bought yet another Hyper car, one of only 20 in the world, only two ever came to North America, and the other one is in like a vault or something? Yeah, we'll never see the light of We'll day. probably never see it. So this will be the only one on the road driving around here in North America. How much was this car? North of four, yeah. Four million dollars, you guys. Exposed carbon fiber from one of the finest Hyper car companies in the world, Bugatti. This is a special one because it's the 110th anniversary edition for the Chiron matte with a blue tint. It's beautiful. So without any further ado, let's show you guys this beautiful 110 anniversary edition Bugatti Chiron. sexy footage for you guys. I'm very lucky to be in the car with Hyper NFT. Some say it's Justin Timberlake, we'll never know. I'm not gonna show you guys, you'll have to figure it out on your own one day, if you ever will, it's a daunting task. This car, actually I've been in it way back in the day when somebody else owned it. I remember thinking to myself how luxurious it was. Now, as you guys know, I like luxury cars. I do a daily drive a Rolls Royce race. I love being comfortable, and in this car you get both. It's incredibly comfortable and incredibly fast when you want it to be, which is really cool. The difference is Hyper NFT is gonna drive this. Now, you just bought it today, but I guarantee you there'll be many, many miles in this car. So on this short drive so far, we've already hit 1,111 horsepower. The big thing about Bugatti compared to some other hypercar manufacturers is the fit and finish. Everything is literally perfect. The leather is beautiful, the stitching is perfect. It really is built by a company that cares about the details, where some of the newer hypercars aren't quite as perfect. It's beautiful in here. Put them in the dirt, say it again, man, and that's the reverse. Jumping in first, call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. This is absurd, say to preserve, don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve. Don't got a nerve, man, I never curse, just casting these bills when I'm smelling these words. and 76 horsepower on that run, which means we still have like 200 left. <laughs> uh, we're on a private location, so I can say this. At 122 miles an hour there, 1,376 horsepower. It's, uh, I closed my eyes at one second when we were braking, because the end of the runway comes real quick. And I need a new diaper. Fourteen hundred and twenty-seven horsepower, 130 miles an hour. And you guys saw that perspective. The end of it comes a lot sooner than you think when you're doing 130 miles an hour. I know you like the Bugatti, but the Dodge Caravan is pretty sick, right guys? So if you guys want to see where Hyper NFT lives, it's kind of eclectic. Is eclectic is the word I'm looking for? He's been telling us about this place for ages, and I was expecting this like baller swimming pool pad. It brings us this rusty old piece. So he keeps all his cars here. He actually does live here. It's an old hangar from the 40s. Some say he doesn't even have a face. So I'm gonna lie to you, dude. This is a pretty crazy place. Do you have lights in here? Just lives in the back. This is crazy, dude. Oh, 
while ago, we were in a video with Hoonigan racing the Hoonicorn versus Damon's twin turbo F12. Now, we all know the outcome. The F12 needs a bunch of work, which we're working on. I do smell a rematch coming, but in the meantime, they inspired an idea with us to do our own series of drag racing cars, but in this case, it'll only be supercars and hypercars. Now, Hyper NFT has an amazing hypercar collection. We're some of his hypercars, our supercars. It'll be hypercar versus hypercar, hypercar versus supercar, and so forth. So, we're working on that right now. Stay tuned very, very soon. But I'm curious, what hypercars do you want to see race each other, and what supercars do you want to see race each other? Is it possible to take a supercar and beat a hypercar? Comment below what races you really want to see in that series. I have a 1500 wheel horsepower Huracan, fully built motor and trans. We should race for slips. So that's where we need your help, you guys. Comment below right now, what DD cars do you want to see race each other? If you really have the time right now, I want to see a ranking, fastest to slowest. Now, I know the slowest is probably the Dodge Caravan, or it could be the 96 Integra Type R. That's actually a race I want to see, the Dodge Caravan and my Integra Type R. They're probably equal powered. The van will launch better. That actually would be a good one. The best part about Hyper NFT is you drive those cars and get some dirty. Come see how dirty the Sharon is right now. New term, proper dirty. Proper. It's proper dirty. Look in here. Like that is the best part. That's the most expensive dirt in Southern California. You can bottle that and <laughs> sell it on the internet. So I made a rookie mistake, Ariane. What? He was telling me there was only 20 of these ever made. And I'm like, oh cool. Take scene on the front. Side. It was a 16 car, and he's like, no, they're 16 cylinders, idiot. What if we built a little uh, beat or drift car out of a California? It's probably the best Ferrari ever made, right? Do a manual, oh, it's the best Ferrari ever built. Do a yeah. manual swap. Top down, retractable hard top, like. <laughs> yeah, dude, that'd be oh, actually man. pretty cool. And these can't be that expensive. Is that the Ferrari. right wheelbase length for drifting? It's actually very close to the F12 wheelbase. Is it really? Yeah, oh, okay. It's, it's a bit long. It's a little bit long. What if we got That's three of them and had competitions? Three of them would be good. We get three of them. Who would be the three drivers though? Me, you, Damon. Who? You can teach me. I listen to words that are spoken by your no, lips. You don't. I stare at your mouth all the time. <laughs> So congratulations to Hyper NFT on the Chiron. Beautiful car, really cool with the blue tint and all that. A Chiron was something I always thought I would want. If like, you know, retirement, reliable, it's comfortable. I right now really, really am focused on getting the cars that are on the channel that I've been working on for the last couple of years completed. The F12's gotta get completed. We went and applied for our own space today. Daily Driven Exotics headquarters down here that we can build the race cars and have like a clubhouse have a parking lot that we can have like cars and coffee and invite you guys out. By the way, we talked about this earlier. You guys say that his car is not a race car. A lot of controversy about that. His car is not a race car. His car is a competition drift car. But I challenge anyone to bring out any car they have and I'll race it. And that'll be a race car. They get, they get as triggered about you calling your professional drift car a race car as they do when I call the G63 a truck. Right. They don't like that. They don't like that either. No. It's an SUV. It's not a truck. Mm. Um, Celsius energy drinks there. What kind? Celsius. Cialis. You do? Great, I'll see you in a little yeah. bit. Me and my friends are coming by. What flavor? Hold on. What, what, what flavors do you What flavors do you Do you have got? watermelon? Do you have watermelon? Yep. How much is your discount? They've already hung up. 